Hi there, this is Ishwar from Design World channel and in this video, I am going to show you how we can create 3D pipe structure in SOLIDWORKS software. So without any further delay, let us get started. So this is how 3D pipe look like and today we will try to make it in SOLIDWORKS software okay so before making this video I made some of the pipes and I also added these flanges to connect this individual pipes and there is one more that I will, I will show you now and this is the structure that I have created and again we will try to create similar type of a things so go to new select the part it is already selected here so you need to click just ok once done so in the left side top corner you will find two type of sketches first one is 2d sketch and second will be the 3d so just click 3d sketch and here select the line command and just click once from where you want to create it so as you can see whatever we are making any lines or point it will create on a space if you want to change the direction just only you need to click tab button right and it will change to some other direction so that from there you can change it so just click tab and it will show you the different direction so till now we have made one sketch exit this command as you can see it totally created on a space so now we will give some dimension to it uh, as you can see it taking the dimension in meters so actually it should be on mm so let me show you how we can move from meter to mm unit so go to the option and go to document properties here you will find units and check this mmgs millimeter gram and second once done click ok to it now here we will take dimension like 150 and this one will be also 150 okay and here also we will take dimension 150 and once done we will take this as 250 okay so now we will give fillet to it so we are defining the fillets here and we will take the 25 mm will be our fillet radius value once done click ok to it so we have created the sketch here 
so go to exit from sketch and now we will create pipe for it so for that we need one toolbar that is weld met since it is highlighting here if it won't showing on your interface of solidworks just write weld met as you can see once you click it it will automatically come to your interface of solidworks so here it is already highlighted so just click on this icon structural member and here are the sub options that we need to choose so either you should go for iso or unchange and which type of thing you want to create here like pipe c channel and some other profile you can also define here no need to create any sketch for that so as of now we are creating the pipe so we will highlight this pipe and here we need to define the diameter and thickness value to it so once done now we need to select the profile one by one so i think it's done once done click ok to it and as you can see it is created on a space right now and any point of time you want to change the dimension to it like uh, let me show you how we can change the dimension of any structure this part so just you go to this command edit sketch and here you can change the length width height width whatever you want so let me take this one will be 250 and this one i also want to 200 and this one i want 350 like that so once done click ok and exit from here so as you can see it automatically taken the shape whatever we defined and if you want to hide this sketch what you need to do is just go this options and uncheck this one view the sketches and one more thing yeah so now i'll tell you how you can apply color to this part so go to this pipe and here you can find appearances so just click it once and go to your part so here you will get the interface or menu bar so which color you can you want you can apply it here or we have option like rgb red green blue you can type the values and you can get your required color or you can choose the color here also so let me go for this color click ok and then so this is a pipe we have created and so any point of time if you want to modify the profile of this pipe you can also do it and you can also add the some other profile in this in this sketch also so let me show you how we can add more sketches to it so just what you need to do is just click on the line command and again you can start drawing to it and you can define the length value let me take 400 and again we will take the radius 
that would be 25 once done click ok to it so as you can see it didn't take the new sketch profile so what we need to do is go to pipe and go to edit feature so here as you can see this sketch is highlighting now so we can just click it here and it will take that yeah same way you can add some more sketches to it and after doing that again you need to go to pipe option and you need to configure your part so that it will it will automatically create pipe for it okay so we have made 3d pipe and we need to add some flanges over there and how we can add some more pipes to it and how we can add or join more than two pipe with the help of clamps or any flanges that i will show you in show you in the next video so since this is the first video of 3d pipe so i do not want to stretch it more so in my next video i'll be showing you how we can connect two different pipes by means of any flange or any clamp so thank you for watching this video guys if you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day